<laughs> Hi there, this is a quick demonstration of the um, Starfield candlestick pattern indicator. Um, mostly this video will benefit uh, new traders just to help them adjust the settings and where to find the indicator. Um, but again, it can help people that are already familiar with the CTrader platform. So what you're seeing now is CTrader on the chart. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to access the uh, indicator. So this is assuming you've downloaded it already. If you go to the left here, you've got the F icon. You just type in the word Starfield and it comes up with the box. There's a lot of them. So then we press space and we put candlestick. And this just filters them down. I'm going to open up the demo version. Now, what I'm going to do is quickly go through the parameter settings, um, and then afterwards I'm going to show you the indicator working. So the settings we've got there at the top here, we've got HMA period. So this is the period that's used for the whole moving average for um, defining the patterns that are formed. Now there's different types of patterns. You've got doji, hammer, bullish engulfing, bullish harami, piercing pattern, morning star, bearish engulfing, dark cloud, shooting star. Bearish Harami, Evening Star, Hanging Man, and Bollinger Band pattern. So there's quite a few patterns that um, can be formed. Now, um, again, I'm going to go back up to the top here. It's got lookup table. I'm going to show you that in a minute because over here where we've got short names, now this allows you to do abbreviated names of the um, patterns on the chart so you don't have the full name being displayed. I'll give you an example of both of them. So you can change this to anything you want. You can change the value for any one of these, the uh, short names. Um, again, here you've got patterns. You can just say yes or no and select optional patterns that you want to be you want to capture. Um, you can also show the full name of the pattern. If you select no, it will use the short names. Okay. If you select yes, it will use the full name of the pattern. Show last pattern. If you select yes, that's just going to show you on the chart the last pattern that formed. Now, um, the reason for this indicator makes it a little bit better than most of the other indicators is the fact that you can receive instant telegram notifications as soon as a candlestick pattern forms. Now, we do sell um, other products for candlestick pattern um, formation. and We have got them uh, on our website. You can look at those and compare. Uh, but they also sell, the other ones also send um, text messages, SMS text messages as well. So in this case, you've just got um, instant telegram messages and email notifications. So again, as soon as a pattern forms, you'll receive straight onto a mobile phone a notification. Now, what I'm going to do now is just click OK. Now, first thing you'll come up on your screen on this I've got a multi-monitor, so this went onto another screen, is just the welcome screen, which checks your license. So if you've got a trial version, it just checks your trial license just to make sure that you're within the 14 days. And then once that's finished, it will actually, actually it usually does it a lot faster than that. I don't know why it's so slow, sorry about that. So the first thing you see on the chart is the default values for the indicator. It's got the lookup table and it's got the abbreviated, and it's got the full names of the indicators on the chart. Now, what we need to do is edit the, parameter, uh, the parameters for the indicator again. Now, there's two ways of doing it. One is to go to this little icon up here, click indicators, okay, and then choose the one you want. Actually, I've got three on the chart. Let me get rid of two of them. Um, and I'll get rid of that one and I'll add it back on. There was the others on the charts already. So I'm just going to add it back again. And I can just go straight into there and click OK. Okay, there's your indicator. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is um, show you the quickest way to edit the parameters for this indicator. You just right click on the chart, your mouse, go down to indicators and you'll find the indicator here. Um, no, it's object manager. I'm wrong. You go to object manager because we've already got the indicator on the chart and you go to indicators and then just double click on there. So that's just showing you one way. There is another way, which is to go over to here again, click on indicators and double click on the file. So you've got two options to actually access your indicator properties. Now what I'm going to show you is just changing some of the parameters. We select full name to no. You can see it does the abbreviated names like DJ. Uh, for Doji, if I want uppercase D and J and say I want an O, DJ O, you can see you can change the abbreviated names or the short names just by doing that. If you want it to show the full names, just click select full names. Uh, last pattern, yes. Can't see it's hidden behind here, but I'll show you that in a minute. Um, lookup table, you can hide that by selecting no, and then you can just show whether you want certain patterns being formed by turning some of these off. So it's pretty straightforward. So if you only want to sell, um, say, for example, capture doji patterns, turn all of the rest off and just leave doji on. Now at the bottom here, you've got telegram notifications and email notifications. Now you need to find your own credentials for this indicator in order to send alerts. So we actually have a tool 
that will help you test your credentials to make sure that you have the right credentials. And if it doesn't send a message, your Telegram bot token and chat ID are incorrect. We've also got information on our web pages that will show you how to get access to your bot token and chat ID. Now the chat ID is the hardest one to get, but we've also got we've got videos and web pages that go into detail and actually show you how to do that. Again, with email notifications, even though you might select yes for email and expect the email to be sent, you also need to set up your email account with the Ctrader platform. So you need to set it up um, whoever your port, whatever port you're using, whatever you're using SMTP. Um, so you need to set that all up and I'll also show you this on the product page now actually. So that's the uh, candlestick pattern indicator. Again, the welcome screen will only be up the first time when you first start Ctrader after that, if you add more instances or add more indicators, it won't do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is go straight over and show you our website. If you're not familiar with us, this is who we are, clickover.com. You can find this indicator under vendor indicators, it's Starfield training indicators. So um, you'll find them all here. I think my internet's run a bit slow, that's what's going on. Now you'll find it down here, candlestick patterns for Starfield. If I open up that. So you can download a trial version here, just click on that and you'll download a 14 day trial. Um, again, if I scroll down the page, you've got more information about using the indicator. And here we've got, where do I go? This here, Telegram and email um, signals alerts. Now this tool, if I click on the link, will take me to a web page um, and you can download this tool for free and it will allow you or show you how to set up your email and Telegram and SMS if you're using it. And if you get stuck, actually got some more information if you scroll down here, here sorry, about setting up your uh, Telegram account. So it's got all the information you need to get yourself sorted. Okay, that's all I want to show you. Um, if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not familiar with who we are, um, just come to our website. And also if you go to our YouTube channel, you can actually, or you're probably watching this on YouTube anyway, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll get um, informed as soon as we release a new video. Thank you very much.